It's the 1st of May 2016 and it's another quiet day in Plymouth. No it isn't, it's the day before the race and I'm with Plymouth artists, traders and the skippers of the boats. Yeah, it's great. Oh, this um, is your new gallery area. Yeah, or studio, studio, studio space. Studio, so. Yeah, I'm sharing it. It's up, up the top there. Cool. In the photo studio at the very top. The very top. The very, very top. The very, very, yes. So, have you got much work in there at the moment? Um, I've got a few pieces. Just started moving in. Uh -huh. uh, excuse me a second. There's a bit of paint drying that is... Are you slipping my leg? I just need to blend in quickly before it dries. Hello Tom, how are you? Hello Chris. <laughs> so you yeah, I'm good. I'm... As well, or? <laughs> no, no, I'm just hanging out with Glyn and just doing some painting with him. Because cool. we kind of... I've seen your new piece on, on Facebook and it looks tremendous. Oh, thank you Chris. The, uh, the Rolling Sea. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll, put, I'll have the whole one on there. Stunning, uh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you how many more thank yous can you say in one sentence? Oh, well, this is it. I'm <laughs> very, very, very grateful. Like a little palette. Yeah, upcycling. Bit of a cof coffee lid. Upcycling, yeah. That's a bike going up hill, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I like it. There's definitely a joke coming there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, yeah. How's it going? So, have you seen any of the vibe this weekend with the transatlantic boats? Have I seen any what, sorry? Any of the vibe with the transatlantic boats? Have you seen any of the boats? Yeah, I saw some of the boats and there's some jazz playing down there as well. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's because it's a jazz festival also, isn't it? So, yeah, it's really Yeah, it looks ama it's amazing down there. <laughs> catch up with the cruise at uh, about uh, 2.30, I think. Oh, nice. You're going out on the boat today? They know they're going on stage oh, they are. to introduce themselves to the public. Oh, nice one. Right. That's, no, that's cool. That. What, 2.30? Yeah, 2.30. No, no. Yeah. It's in about uh, an hour and a half's time. Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah, 2.30, 3 o'clock. Excellent. So you're going to go out on the boats, Chris? Or? Uh, I'm going to try to on Monday. Oh, Monday? Yeah, keep out of the way for a while because when they're going to America, it's, uh, it's a psychological thing yeah, as much as a physical thing. Sure. So they've got to get the brain into a sort of set mode before they go. Yeah. So it's best to keep the uh, work clear out for a couple of days before they go. Yeah, I've noticed there's a few weather other systems out in the Atlantic at the moment, they're going to, yeah, a bit of a challenge, which is... headwinds and uh, big lows coming across. Yeah, seen so, that. I mean, the record is 12 hours, uh, sorry, 12 days, something, just over 12 days to get there. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, yeah. So I can't really work out the distance. Be lucky if they uh, do it this time. Yeah, they'll be fighting against the. <laughs> unless they go down south below the low pressure. Because I was looking at it the other day on the pressure chart. If they could just maybe go, because there's a bit of high pressure. They probably will have to. A bit southerly, yeah. So uh, what's your work doing at the moment? What's this piece? No, no, oh, this no, is um, no, this is um, a commission. I mean, um, Prince, that's Burr Island do, from yeah, another yeah, angle yeah, from behind yeah, Shallow yeah, Bay. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Limited. Thanks. Prince. So it's going to be another moon rise. It looks like, it like a shark coming out of the water. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Gigantic one. <laughs> yeah, we could add one in in the corner maybe. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just just doing the background layer at the moment. A oh, bit too much yellow there. Yeah, so um, enjoying it. Right. So, what's it like in the back here in New Street? Yeah, it's a beautiful it's space. Like England here, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, it's a really traditional oh, kind of street, now. and yeah. it's cobbled, and there's a lot of history yeah, in here. It's in that still exists. Yeah, so it's really good. Yeah, you can see there's um, there's that beam with the chain coming off it. Yeah. I wonder what that was all about. Guess it's the hoist things up that window. Yeah, I think that was to take stores up originally. Cobblestones everywhere as well. Yeah. Well, 16,000, sorry, 16 million oh, Americans can trace their ancestry to this area of Plymouth Barbican. Oh, no. Yeah, it's Mayflower set yeah, off from... Mayflower Steps. Yeah, Mayflower Steps, my <laughs> God. So, it's very hectic today, Glenn. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. So, have you settled into the new gallery? Um, Studio. I've just started moving pieces in there. Um, be properly doing that next week. Yeah. Um, so, it's all been... It's like, 
actually got the keys. I've actually <laughs> moved. Nice yeah, one. Like, yeah, yeah. So, so just, you've moved from the gallery on the whole, haven't you? I'm yeah. still in there at the moment, yes. but I will be um, moving out in the next few weeks, yeah, next okay. couple of weeks. Um, I've paid up till I think the 14th of yeah. May. Um, but everything has to evolve and progress. And exactly. It's and and this is you know I've now got actual studio space here. Um, so. <laughs> We seem to have gone backwards in time, haven't we? I mean, oh, no. You can wear skimpy dresses like that on the hoe in the 1960s. It's got to be the 60s, that. <laughs> but, um, no, it's a lovely little, I mean, it is. Well, the, the, I mean, the footfall as well. And yeah. I, I mean, you see the view just down down through there. It's, I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Right? Uh, it's time, it's the, one of the oldest uh, areas of the city. Yeah, um, yeah. It's uh, 16 million Americans can trace their ancestry back to this area. Really? Yeah, oh, from, wow. the, uh, from the Pilgrim Fathers. Wow, I didn't know that. But it's, um, I mean, there's so much as well. It's talking which, there's so much happening this weekend. I've got the Blues and Jazz oh, Festival, I'm the Transat Race. I was going to say, you must be. So I didn't sleep very well last night either because, uh, uh, apart from my head being in overdrive, there's a, a new nightclub just opened up across the road from where I live. So that's kicking up till about four o'clock in the morning. Oh no! Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh, so cool, anyway, your work's looking very good. Thank you, thank you. I, just, I haven't got much done today um, because. So the football's been, and I keep seeing people I know. <laughs> nice one. And being as long late. as they're not taking you out for a drink, that's the main thing. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Although, work at all, then. although I have just been made a cup of coffee. Well, I mean, I, I, yeah, I did mean the alcoholic beverage type drink. No, not did coffee. me make a cup of coffee. <laughs> so. yeah. Right, catch me with you again. Mm. So later, Enjoy your weekend, Chris. Cheers, I'm thanks. sure you will do, mate. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I look forward to footage of all the different events. Are you, are you doing like a sort of... I'm, going, I'm doing cutaways of everything this weekend, yeah. Yeah. Of the just... atmosphere, of the barbecue. Brilliant. Well, I'm sure I'll see you over the next couple of days again. Yeah, take it easy. Yeah. Cheers. Take care, mate. Cheers, Chris. Have Thank a you. good... Have a... What's your name? Phil. Phil Chanjans. Are you a local in... I am indeed. Do you avoid... Well, 15, 16 years I've lived in... Um, on the whole. And I'm a volunteer here at the Plymouth and Devon School Sailing Association. It's a beautiful place to be. Isn't it gorgeous, yeah? Fantastic. I couldn't think of anywhere better, to be honest you with couldn't you. Have one of the, you couldn't have a worse job, could you? <laughs> bit, I mean, you've got a great job. Get, 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 Listen, I'm living the dream, Chris. I'm living the dream. <laughs> Being able to get out on, on the boats. Oh, I do, yeah. Well, I've got my own over there, you see. Cool. And this is one of the club's boats. Oh, yours is Swallows and Amazons, isn't it? Mine's... Buddy, that is. Buddy. Oh, Buddy, yes. It's your Buddy. Buddy. It's, uh, it's, it means it's Buddha, which is enlightened one, I, f I think. Right, okay. So, uh, but I, do, I must admit, I do enjoy doing the voluntary work and for the schools, you know, for the kids. So, you going to Buddy? When I was about 17. Yeah. Um, what part of the country was that? That was in Swansea. Swansea? Swansea, yes. Where men and women are super scared. That's the one, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so they should be. You haven't got much of an accent. Not really, no. I, I, I'm not from Swansea originally. I'm not from I, I lived there for seven years, but I learned to sail there, yeah. and I belonged to the Mumble Sailing Club. Uh, and used to say that's when I bought my first boat, which was a mirror. Yeah, yeah. It's so you can look at yourself. Huh? So you can look at yourself. Very quick, <laughs> very quick, Chris. Very quick. Yeah. So, uh, what brought you to Plymouth then? Well, I worked in Plymouth as a site manager. I worked all over the country, and I worked in Plymouth. And then I was living in Taunton at the time, and I had a chance to uh, come to Plymouth to work, and stayed. And what do you think of this weekend with the transatlantic being in town? Brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, somebody, somebody will make a lot of money out of it. <laughs> From the city council? Oh yeah, probably. I think. Yeah, they will. And a few, and a few others who tag along behind them. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, but we mustn't be too cynical, Chris. Um, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's great vibe for the city, and it's uh, you know, it, uh, I'm, I'm into the international scene rather than the local scene anyway. Oh so. yeah, I mean. I mean, Plymouth has got a lot to offer. As long as they, the thing is, as long as they don't make it look like Torquay. Yeah. We don't need Plymouth looking like Torquay. It needs to stay as Plymouth. It doesn't need to be another Torquay with that blessed train going up around there. But it's it's no, not a. I disagree with that. I like the train. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh well, there we are. Each to their own. Yeah, no, you'd like Plymouth to stay as it is. Oh but, yeah. But it's not going to progress, and I'm not going to have any work if it does. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, well, sad. yes, I'm, I'm, I like progress. I mean, progress. We can't, nothing stays still forever, yeah. and I love progress. 
The only thing is, it can change for the worse and not the better. No, if, I agree. If, 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 you allow the, if you allow the wrong people to, 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 to run it. Oh, yeah. it's not far off now. But yeah. Enjoy your tea anyway. Yeah. And it's been a great vibe and have a good weekend. Yeah, and you also, Chris. Yeah, take care. What was your name? Go, oh, Chris. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> Chris yeah. Right. yeah, good man, Chris. Take care. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, bud. Well done. Are you enjoying the weekend? Yes, it's really good. <laughs> um, so we're the Ellen MacArthur Cancer Trust. We're the official UK race charity for the Trans Act. Um, we take young people out sailing who are in recovery from cancer to rebuild their confidence. Um, there's a lot, been a lot of scientific um, research done behind it and them getting out and being with other people in a similar situation really improves their mood and we um, aim to have a um, long term relationship with all those young people and today we've come down to the Trans App um, we've got our um, get your kit on um, competition where people race to put all the wet weather gear on and they can win um, musto um, gear so uh, it's definitely worth coming down here and having a go <laughs> um, so the website is www.ellenmacarthurcancertrust.com <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, you too. Bye. <laughs> So, um, so our website details are www.ellenmacarthurcancertrust.org Thank you. Thank you. You too. Bye. Hello, what's your trade centre all about? Pardon? What's your trade centre all about? Oh, we, we do the RC Healthcare and we, we do hy hyperbaric oxygen therapy. So we, we, we treat divers and um, patients from the NHS. I thought you'd done this part of the. Uh, yeah, and also we do a lot of training. As, yeah, we, you, know, you know, we do a lot of training as well for the MCA. MCA training for you know for sailors uh -huh. and off offshore training as well. So we do a lot of stuff. Is that do you say that's for the bends? Yes, we do treat divers, especially in the main season. So it's it's getting busy now. Do you get a lot of divers coming through then? Fair few. They yeah, don't, yeah. don't buy by the rules of diving. Well, sports divers, and, you know, thing things happen. They get brought from far and wide. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite. And what's your website busy. details? Pardon? What's your website? The website is www.ddrc.org. Catherine. I'm George. <laughs> Fine, yeah. Thank you. Circle. So come on down, uh, last half cruise of the day, free day, what can I say? Um, 10 mile scenic round trip cruise, uh, sailing on the Plymouth Sound River Tamar, all the way down to the Royal Naval Dockyards and back again. We have plenty of opportunity to see fantastic naval warships. If there are any, I'm not going to lie, I never get the memo on these things, they never tell me anything, so if there are, by all means, come on down and check them out. We also have idyllic views of the Cornish coast on the way there and back. I find the adjective idyllic usually dependent on the weather. 
So uh, today I can say it. It's a yeah, pretty idyllic views of the Cornish coast on the way there and back. So bring the friends, bring the family, bring your mum, bring your dog. Dog sell for free. So do under fours because I love kids and animals so much. Hello. Yeah, we're having a very good weekend. Have another another use of trains up. Yeah, we're busy. Nice to see you. Very busy every time we see you. Yeah, yeah, we've been we've been busy all day. What film should be about? Shit, shit, shit. Loads of people down here. Really good. Yeah, see ya. It's really lovely. It's nice. Right it's nice. I really like this kind of what's thing. Your, what's your name? Joanna. Yeah, cheers. Thanks very much. Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
all for part of the night of this evening. So that will be the next big thing from us. The fireworks at quarter past nine this evening. Going off from the Mount Athens here, so clear above our heads over here and the home. Tomorrow, the entertainment continues with some amazing, amazing air over Sutton Harbour. Featuring the extra 300 unlimited solo aerobatics team, the bright green walking team, and the Red Devil Parachute Regiment display team. Ouais, ouais, on... On C'est What's your name? What is your name? Name? Yeah. My name is Hiroshi Kitada. Uh -huh. And this is your first transatlantic race? Hmm? Yes. yes. Whereabouts are you from? Yeah. Sorry. Where, uh, where's he from? Uh, Japan. Japan. Japan? Yes. And it's the first Japanese man to race Enter. on the transatlantic? Yes. 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 What sort of a boat is it he has? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What, what sort of a boat is this? Ah, uh, class 40. Yes. Class 40? Yes. And how long do you think it will take to get to New York? Ah, how long will it take to get to New York? 16 or 17. 6 or 7 days? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes. So, obviously you're going to win. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for coming. New, newest boat is this is the newest boat in the fleet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah newest boat is the fleet. Yes, yeah, support team. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Name? Robin Morris. And you're going out across the Atlantic. Yeah. So, uh, how much uh, boating experience have you had? How much what? Sorry. How much sailing have you done in the past? Have you done uh, a lot of sailing? Well, obviously. Uh, yeah, sailing. yeah. I've done the Mini Transat in uh, 2013. Yes. And uh, in prototype. Yeah. And uh, I finished uh, 12. Okay. Brilliant. So now this is my first race, uh, first uh, uh, solo race uh, in class 40. Yes. So it's a little bit uh, stressful and uh, it's lots, of, lots in the head, isn't it? Yeah, for it's sure. The, as well as the main challenge is to fight uh, against me, to yeah. to 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 stay uh, always 100% uh -huh. and uh, not uh, not to 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 down at the first uh, <laughs> the first or the tenth or anyway yeah. the, the the problems and uh, yeah the. the the goal is to, to, to finish the race, arrive right yeah. on the other side, uh, sail, uh, sail properly, uh, do the, 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 good, uh, the good course, the good yeah. uh, trajectory. Will you have to sail uh, out of the... there's a low coming across, isn't there? Sorry? There's a, a weather low coming across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, will you have to go further south? The... Ah, no, I, I don't think so because the how, how about the class 40 are, uh, are so slow compared to the, the other boats, yeah. and uh, we have to manage to, to do the the shortest uh, the shortest uh, course. Yeah. So I will see, but uh, I think I think I, I will go to the north, and uh, probably if I if I if I uh, if I meet uh, some very strong wind or uh, too big the wave, uh, I, I go back a little bit to the south and uh, I play uh, like this with the with the low pressure. So, do you come from a coastal town in France? Uh, basically, no. I was born in Lyon. 
Yeah. I was born right in, in the, right in the uh, heart of France. Yeah, this is in the heart of France, in the south uh, east. Yeah. And uh, so I start to sail on the on the lake. Yeah. Uh, when I when I was a child, uh -huh. and uh, after this I I, uh, I moved to Marseille. Yeah. In the south of France. Yeah. To do a sports school. Yes. In laser. Yeah. And uh, so I uh, I sail uh, laser uh, during uh, ten years at uh, so high level. Yeah. Uh, I finished uh, 12 in the Young European Championship yeah. and after this when I moved in uh, senior yeah. it, uh, it was uh, it, it started to be a little bit uh, more difficult and uh, after this I stopped school so my parents say uh, okay you have to have money and uh, you have to stop laser <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, I moved to sell the, the biggest the, 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 big, the bigger boat the biggest boat yeah not the, big, the bigger boat sorry uh -huh. Uh, I start with the um, Tour de France. Yes. With the Tour de France in Moum Sorti, I, uh, I sail uh, four seasons. Yeah. Uh, after this, I, uh, I, uh, I get the chance to, to sail the TP52 during two seasons. Uh -huh. And uh, after this, I, I move to, to I, I want to sail uh, offshore racing. Yes. So I start with a little race in the south of France in Figaro 2. And uh, after this, I have the opportunity to to buy a proto proto. C50, mini proto, yeah, and uh, so I, I do the, the transats. Uh -huh. Yeah. So how much training have you had to do for this race? Sorry, sir. Sorry, how much training? Preparation. Uh, not too much because uh, basically uh, this boat, uh, the skipper of this boat was uh, Mark Dubos. Yes. And uh, he hurt uh, his arm, so so hard. So I, uh, he, he contacted, uh, he found, uh, he found me to, to replace him. Yes. Uh, don't remember exactly, but no more than uh, two months before the race. Okay. <laughs> so it was a big race before the race to yes. be there, and uh, it's already a big, uh, big victory to, to be there uh, at the start. Yeah. yeah. So it's your first race on this level. Yeah, at this level, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Nice one. What's the what sort of boat is it you're racing? Sorry? What, what type of a boat? What sort of a boat? Before? No, what sort of boat is this? Ah, this is an uh, Aquilaria RC2. Yes. Yeah. So, as, as you can see, it's not the, it's not the, last, uh, the, the last boat. Uh, it's, it's not the last boat. But I think it's a very good boat. This boat was prepared by um, Fabrice Amadeo, yeah. who, who, who now sells the Vendée Globe. Yeah. Prepare himself, prepare himself for the Vendée Globe. And, uh, this boat was, was was very good prepared for the Route de Rome uh, 2014, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. Now after the qualification, I, I trust uh, so much this boat. Yes. I, uh, I start to know to know, to, to know it and uh, to know she in English, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I trust him. I trust him so much. So much. Thank you very much. What's your name again? Robin. Robin, Robin Marais. Thank you very much. And yeah. Good luck with the race. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to everyone involved in Transat 2016 and Plymouth Boat Trips, Plymouth Land Trains, artists Tom Bird and Glyn White, and Lee Wright. Thanks to Plymouth Music Makers. Thanks to Transat Bakerley. Thanks to Plymouth Media Organisations, the University of Plymouth, and Plymouth Marine. This has been a Chris Summerfield Media Production 2016. You can contact me, sponsor me and support me through PayPal at ChristopherSummerfield at gmail.com. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching the video. It's a lifestyle thing. <laughs>